For the most part, the maps you see online are raster images. So now the question, is it possible to download vector data online? Is it possible to download shape files online? Yes, it is. In this video from Special Data Hub, I'm going to be showing you how to download vector images, shape files online for absolutely free. There are four contents here. Sites to download, country shape files, local governments, states, counties, We'll show you how to download it from Diva GIS and you can also check out igismap.com and a bunch of others too. How to import these ship files into QGIS, editing the labels, how to identify labels and the correct labels to use on your map and then how to customize it to suit your needs, maybe study a map or something. So let's get to it. The first link here will take us to um, the website to take us directly to this page so you set your country of choice and then your subject administrative areas typically um, it shows um, state boundaries and just basic mapping and then if it's any other thing that you want you can check it out here there is a table to show the subject, description of the subject, sources, format, and resolution, if available, and then the definition of everything else. Yeah, so once you are okay with this, I want administrative boundaries. You click on OK, you click on download, and that quickly downloads. I've done this before, so we won't wait for it to completely download. So what you simply do is go to where you have downloaded the file and extract it. Extract. Once you're done, you really don't need to be here. Let's now go to QGIS. First, ensure that your panels, browse panel, browser panel, and layer styling panel is ticked and activated. For some reason, my QGIS is functioning like this for currently. So on your browser panel, this is what it typically looks like. You click on home to source for where your file is stored. Mine is in downloads, so I go to downloads. If your file is saved somewhere else, then you can also do this manually by going to the file where you have extracted. Yep. What you need, while there are other additional extensions here, what you need is just this shape file. You need this one the download comes with three other what the hell All right, so here we are. The admin zero, let's see what each of them shows. Admin zero shows the country as a whole without any boundaries in between. Just shows the boundary of the country. Admin one shows the boundary of all the states in between. And then admin two shows the boundary of all the local governments it starts detailed the downside of this data type of the ship files used in this site is that each ship for each state or local government is not given a distinct color 
but you can edit it if you're working on a study area map all you need to do is digitize the specific area which you want just that small section and you will have it stand out in your map so it's that simple to find out the labels how to edit your labels let's say we want to show each of the states we want to add labels to each state let's turn off this Turn off this. We don't need them. On this, check your attributes table. On the attributes table, you see that the names of states is under the column titled name one. So that is what we will use on our label. We'll go to remember you've turned on name st uh, layer styling. So this is our map admin one here click on label single labels it's on name zero name zero gives you nigeria nigeria outro name one now gives you each of the states as it has been digitized so you can edit other valid values here and do your stuff let's say we want to work we are working on a study area of abuja all we simply do is create a new layer. Create a new layer. Let me just put it anyway. Abuja. Polygon. Let's turn on our digitizing toolbar so I can quickly edit this. So you zoom in nicely. I'll do this as rough as possible just to get it done. Now you can go on to edit the color. Fine. So if you want to show the states Abuja in Nigeria, you have it this easy and simple. If you now want to show the local gov a particular local government in Abuja as your study area, then you change it simply turn off this turn on your admin two and this is abuja you digitize that digitize abuja on its own and there you go thank you i believe you found this video useful in another of my video i'll show you how to download vector files vector layers shape files from osm open street map and then i'll also be making a video on how to make a detailed study area map that you could use for any project whatsoever so turn on post notifications if you've not already done that subscribe to my channel like this video as it keeps the channel moving and we'll see you